Hey everyone, this is Sharon from Sharon at Sea, and there are thousands of people on board a cruise ship all at one time in a closed environment. And if one gets sick, it's only a matter of time till many more can get sick, right? So to avoid the flu virus, the stomach bug, or any other infectious condition, I am gonna give you a few strategies to follow. All right, when a sick passenger is out and about around the ship, you know, they are spreading their germs. They're touching things, the buffet line utensils, um, doorknobs, elevator buttons, and you know, even poker chips if they're in the casino. So, you know, every, everything you touch around the cruise ship could potentially get you sick. So I'm gonna give you a few tips to start with by being, um, well one, actually, by being proactive before you go on a cruise. My first tip is about two weeks before you cruise, kind of double up on vitamin C. Take it every day for about two weeks and then also bring it on the cruise with you and continue to take it throughout the duration of your cruise. All right, now we're on board. What are we gonna do first? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean my cabin a little better. I know the staff is fully trained to disinfect the cabins between salines, but it never hurts to give it just a little extra clean, right? So I would suggest bringing bleach wipes with you and then also bring your own hand sanitizer um, just to kind of have on hand. But I take bleach wipes and I wipe down the remotes um, in the room, the phone, the doorknobs, anything that you're gonna to be touching and handling, closet doorknobs, things like that. Wipe all those things down uh, before you kind of put your things away and touch everything. That just gives it a little extra clean. And another little tip, bring your own bleach wipes in a baggie or a small container of them and bring like a rubber glove to put on your hand to do the cleaning. That way you don't get the bleach on your hand, you don't um, maybe get a little bit on your finger, end up touching your clothing, you know, fade your clothing out. It's just an extra little bonus tip there. My next tip is frequently wash your hands around the ship. Um, that's probably the best source of um, fighting off any kind of infection and germs. And rub them with friction, soap and water, soap and warm water, and a lot of friction for about 30 seconds, and then dry them with a paper towel and use that paper towel to turn the faucet off and also to open your door so that you're not retouching anything to get more germs back on your hands. And then prevent touching as many things. You know, I know you have to sometimes hold the, the stair rail and some different things, but just try to minimize what you do touch around the ship. And also a hand sanitizer. It isn't as effective as just good old soap and water and friction, but it is a good option if that's not available. So it doesn't hurt to bring some, a little travel size to have on hand, or of course, most of the ships do offer it um, by the buffet lines and uh, the entrance of the main dining room and some areas like that. And another thing, avoid using the public restrooms on the ship unless you just have to use them and you can't make it back to your cabin. Otherwise, go back to your cabin, the one that you've kind of bleached wiped down and used, and use your own bathroom. And here's something about norovirus. Did you know it can stay in contaminated garments if not washed properly? So if you're using the public um, washing machines on some of the cruise lines that where you can do your own laundry, make sure you're washing them in really hot water and you're drying them for a long time in really hot temperatures to get rid of those germs. So I hope this was helpful and those are a few of my tips for helping prevent getting sick on a cruise ship or bringing home the cruise crud as some people may call it. So just be courteous um, to others. If you're not feeling well around the ship, isolate yourself for a while. When you're feeling better, you know, you can come back out. Make sure you're taking your vitamin C before your cruise, during your cruise, washing your hands frequently and wiping down your cabin. Those are probably the three top things that are gonna help keep you feeling good throughout your cruise. If you have any ideas or things that you do to help prevent from getting sick on a cruise, please share them in the comments below to help our cruising community with some more options for staying healthy. And if you like cruise vlogs and cruise tips and cruise reviews and cruise news from time to time, please consider subscribing to our channel and click the notification bell so you'll get notified when we post new content or go live. We go live every Monday night and we have a lot of fun on our live show. So come on and join the fun. And thanks for watching. Until next time, happy cruising.